We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hi. Uh, can we I'm get everybody Stevie to B. scoot in so we can fit everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm Stevie B. This is Showtime. We're Nerds of the Apocalypse. We're monitoring a panel with uh, Tommy Faircloth. Faircloth. <laughs> yeah. Cloth. <laughs> from, uh, I've already messed it up. We just started. I can't help it. <laughs> Nailed and, uh, it. Nailed it. That's right. Uh, and with Horse Creek Productions and Aurelius Nova. She's got all kinds of books. Uh, no. <laughs> No, we we hear that they had like, they had a venture they put together. Let's hear about. Um, so I wrote a story. I'll, I'll just I'll just scream at you all. Yes. <laughs> um, just, I, you just got to put the mic as close <laughs> as you can. He's not lying. Just just like this. Wow, that's really loud. Is this Sorry. good? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, so I wrote a. St- <laughs> you really do. Um, <laughs> yes. Don't so put your I, lips on it. <laughs> Um, I wrote a story last year called Anniversary. Um, it's a horror. It's a horror story, and uh, I thought that it would transition pretty well into a film because I write visually. So as I play it in my head is how I write it out. And uh, I've never written a screenplay, which come to find out is a completely different animal than writing a story, a novel, because that's what I do. And I had to go to uh, Jason, who I actually met last year here. Um, for help because he's an actor and I was like dude I don't know how to write a screenplay I need help you know like what am I doing and he he glanced over it and he was like you have way too many details <laughs> he's like <laughs> you're not writing a shorter short story you know you just need to kind of do the uh, the bare bones of it all and so he helped me and then he got on board to help turn it into a film and then to- uh, Jason talked with Tommy about it and then got Tommy involved and then <laughs> you can pick up where <laughs> yeah, um, we were we were we, we were here last year and we were promoting our films um, Jason was one of the guest stars he had a panel and I guess that's where you guys met right yeah so, so Jason's been an actor in, in three of my films and um, so they met and he was telling me you know I met someone and we're kind of working on a story and I, I mean I didn't I was just like okay whatever because I was in the middle of editing right. my films so I didn't care and yeah. so I kept hearing more. You know, I mean, so not what? to be rude, That's I was just ticket. focused. <laughs> Offended. No. But he, I, I knew who you were, but I didn't know who he was talking about. He just, right. I met this person. So um, he's like, yeah, um, we're, we're going to produce a short and we're looking for a director. And I've only directed, you know, and shot films that I personally have written. So that's something I wanted to do. Um, and so I thought it might be a challenge. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I read the story, and it's like you said, it's all it's all words. You know, she, you, you tell everybody what you want them to see. So when we turn this into a film, there's going to be a lot of things. You know, we can't sit here with a voiceover and say, you know, the year yeah. is 1950. And, yes. You know, so so we we've, we've kind of talked about some of the visuals we're going to need in the film that kind of that'll give the audience um, an idea of the time period or not. You know, yeah. um, and it, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we're, I think we're planning to shoot this when January ish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, I know we're going to do a, a Kickstarter. We were talking about for it. Yeah, the Kickstarter met its goal and yeah, we it's, it's, it's finalized. We and nailed everything. it. Yeah, we yeah. nailed that Kickstarter. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, that's right. There was uh, there was already a Kickstarter. Yeah, okay, yeah. But my we bad. Uh, we've so it's okay. I'm not. I need to catch up. We nah. forgive you. But yeah. So w- uh, with, with with that confusion, we had the Kickstarter. We surpassed our goal. Um, after it finished and everything, you're not allowed to reopen a Kickstarter, and we got flooded with people that were still wanting. Right. Sorry, we got flooded with people that were still wanting to help be a part of the project. Um, so what we did was we set up all of the same tier prizes and everything, but now it's just linked through a direct PayPal account. And we, you know, we just add everybody to the master Kickstarter list for in, you know, in their respective tiers for what they donate and everything. So. Right, and the tiers are like you, you, a certain amount by the cost of a DVD, you get a DVD right of the of the short movie. So yeah. you're you're getting something for Kickstarting. So uh, we just kind of jumped in because uh, they needed help and. I'm a butt to fill a chair. Yeah, no, he, he, he's an extra. Uh, we were across from them last year, and so we all got to know each other because we were all here last year, and we got to know Aurelius a couple of years ago. I think during the flood was when we... Aurelius' first interaction year? with no. me was throwing a book at me. Yeah, she was like, check my book out. Uh, 
Uh, but she's got a lot of she's got a lot of books. This is from her her short story. She's got two complimentation books. Is that right? Yeah, um, and this is one short story from it. She, I, I didn't read this specific short story, but she's like, "Guess what? We're making an anniversary into a movie." And I was like, "Well, I haven't read it yet, and I don't have that book yet from you." And so she called me and left the short story on my on my voicemail. She just she's like, "What's well, it? You haven't read it yet?" I was trying to be sarcastic. Yeah, because because I, I was you. like, oh, "I gotta read it. Don't you have it in like audio book or something?" <laughs> and she's hang like, "No, I don't. Minute. But hang on." <laughs> And she called me. I was like, I'm, "You're not going to read it to me." And I sent a voicemail. And then, like ten minutes later, voicemail popped up. Her we were reading in the, the short story to me, re- recording one of our podcasts. Yeah. And he started playing. I was like, "Oh crap! She really did it." <laughs> yeah. Her her go. Well, well, we record every once every couple of weeks, and she gets wind of it. And her go-to move is just to call one of our cell phones and try to get in on it. She and knows just, I'll always answer. Yes. And I put it on FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're we're essentially the crew. We're going to be the guys in the background. So if I if I say something, we, we I need to get this out there. If I get a line and say something, do I get into the Screen Actors Guild? No. What? <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to be on a project that's SAG eligible oh. or registered, and when you do that, it comes. Oh, I'm out. Show. You know what? So sad. No, we had a, we had a big argument about this over dinner last night. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like like I, if we were doing like you know, we would register our film with SAG, and with, with that we would have to use a payroll department that they oh, recommend and make no. sure all the crew and everybody gets paid SAG wages. And you know, when you're working an independent film, a lot of people don't get paid at all. Wait, so yeah. wait, 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 wait. So, so we're not gonna. So get you, you can even think of this as a learning experience. <laughs> oh. and, Build, you know, a resume build. This deal gets right. worse by the minute. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. It's where, it's where we got really excited because uh, we haven't. We do YouTube videos, so we know video. Mike over there, the guy running live streaming the panels. He's he's our video editor, so he's got some video editing process. We hold mics and do lighting and stuff. So we're really excited to take another step forward. So. Aurelius was just like, hey, you guys want to help with this? Because I don't want, I, mean, I know you guys. It is a big step. You know, it'll yeah. be, oh, yeah. we're, gonna, we, we're, we're very excited. There's a lot of film step. festivals. and. But what yeah. you have to deal with, though, is that we're mega noobs. So we're going to, you can Tommy, punch us, Tommy though. Tommy can whip you into yeah. shape. Yeah, yeah, I we're have good. such confidence in Tommy. Uh, you're, we, you're also I, sort of a noob. I need a role. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, so, I, I need but, a role no. that requires you to just stand there and shake. That's right. It's it's very exciting, and you got to get your foot in somewhere. So we were like, hey, this is a great opportunity because uh, we're all good friends with Aurelius now. She kind of just shoved away into our lives, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so it, we're we're really excited to 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 make this movie. It's it's very fun. To, if if you guys get a chance, go buy a booth and pick this up. The anniversary book is is uh I'm sorry, what's the I, I don't I don't remember the name of the a book. Peek inside. A peek inside, yeah. that's right, yeah. It's um, volume one. one. There's volume volume yeah. two as well out. Yeah, so it's it's not just anniversary in there. There's a few how many is in there total? Three. There's three in there total. Yeah. And the anniversary story is really good. It's one of those things that it just it's it's a you know it's obviously a horror story and it's just it gets so it's one got a big twist and it gets real creepy. It's really fun. Um, I, I, it got me, and I generally pick stuff out. I'm like, I know this is going to happen, and then when it started, I was like, oh goodness, so it's 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 going to be a lot of fun to make, I think. So. Yeah, and one of the great things with Tommy is that Tommy, when you watch his films, they, I mean, because he he works on you know lower budgets, that but they look like major production filming, like it's not cheesy filming, it's not jumbling, you know, and making you seasick as you're watching this film. They're amazing, and that's why I was so excited, you know, to have somebody with that skill set and able to, you know, work within. Because obviously, I don't have a million dollars to throw at a film. Like that's not, I don't have that. Right? <laughs> right? Oh, I've so got sorry. a dollar. You can, yeah. you can have that. Is that, is that enough for SAG wages? <laughs> <laughs> trying to make us go broke. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, she's right, absolutely. Um, I'm actually brand new to the independent, like even just watching them. So when I got to, when we got to station up across for the uh, hall from them and watch some of the movies, what was the first one we watched? It was that the horror movie where the guy was running around the trailer park, stabbing people. Yeah, yeah Dollface. Oh, yeah. That one. That was my first introduction to it, and it was a very good throwback to the old like '90s horrors and like Scream and stuff like that. It reminded me a lot of that, and I think. It was a lot of fun to watch it. And then we watched um, Family Possessions. 
It was another one that was a lot of fun. Which is currently touring the yeah. nation in yeah. all these different film festivals, and it's doing amazingly well. Yeah, we have a, uh, a TV right out here it's that's right got a loop running with all of our trailers so you can kind of yeah. take a look. But Family Possessions is the last, um, latest feature. Not the and, last uh, one, just the latest. It should be out early next year on DVD. So we're just playing film festivals and horror conventions right now. And um, we did have a screening here, in right? Columbia here, yeah. Taps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Halloween last year, so yeah, it's we almost been a full year. We, we were there. Mm -hmm. it, it's <laughs> fun though, because like, it, Why were we? how many people are from this area? Like, I'm assuming everyone. Not all right. So like, there's a lot of landmarks that they get to shoot at that you'll recognize in there. That's fun. Like they got the USC's um, one of their old. I think it was a nursing building or something like that. Well, the the asylum on Bull Street. Not, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We shot there, and then for the interior, we shot in Charleston in a, a naval abandoned naval hospital. Yeah, but um. <laughs> And we shot in Greenville, North Carolina, because that's where the main house was. But yeah, we, I'm always shooting. You know, I shoot all my films in South Carolina. Um, Dollface, we shot at USC. We mm -hmm. actually used the media arts. That's department. what it was. Because yeah. I had recognized the rooms when they were for one of my classes. Yeah. And I was like, at that looks really familiar. Kind of see arts on the side, but yeah. it's a history class, so that's kind of a. Um, it's okay. I, well, I recently watched the. What was the 90s one we watched when you did it? Uh, what is it again? Crimson Act. Generation X, yes. Oh that yeah, was, I listened to your podcast. Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, when did you film that? That was in like '98. Yeah, yeah. Was, and there's there's an old there's a, a sequence in an old movie theater that they ripped down when I was a kid. Polaroid. Yeah, Pol yeah. yeah. and I was oh, like, yeah. that's the Polaroid, and like the the posters in the background. Well, we put up the those movies weren't playing at that time, uh, but we just put up throwback to kind of like there was a true romance poster. Right. Yeah. And, uh, uh, what else was there? I don't know. We might have had a screen poster up, maybe. Yeah, it was, it was really good. That yeah. that movie was a lot of fun. <clears throat> it's it really was, it's really a nineties. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and you have a lot of these uh, at the table, right? For I sure do. No, oh, right over there. Yeah, yeah you right can pick a couple of these up. So, <laughs> I'll go get them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> very sorry. Um, but Jason, yeah, Jason was supposed to be here. The other one that's producing the film and the actor, but he he got nominated. For, wasn't an award. Yeah, or something yeah. for a film. He's, he works so much. He does tons and tons of TV series, and he's out of Atlanta. And um, it would have been there was a lot of industry people going to be it's some some place in California. So he's, that's where he had to go this week. California, yeah, you know, LA. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> way to be best actor. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, so. goes, yeah, I mean, goes to Facebook well. page. Yeah, yeah, he goes awesome. Facebook page. He posted a ticket, and he's like, "I'm going to LA." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay, Jason." And I was like, "We'll just, now I know we'll just do the panel without you, Jason." <laughs> Thanks, bud. No, he's he's a good guy. Um, he is. Um, are, is anybody in here from Charleston? No. Yay! Yeah. Oh. So we. Yes. Um, Charleston <laughs> yeah. might be one of the main locations that we do anniversary at. Um, there's like a, a little market scene that I w I think would be really cool mm -hmm. to have um, in downtown Charleston, and then the rest you know be filmed out of the house there. So. It's a great setting because it's a creepy city at night. <laughs> it's it's they have the ghost walks, that's what I'm talking about. There's got, it's got a lot of haunted locations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so the majority of the, the story takes place, you know, like in a couple of rooms, but it's, yeah. the, it's the whole vibe. It's it's gonna it's gonna be good. It's kinda got this kind of like psycho vibe. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, exactly, yeah. yeah. Don't don't read her stories before you go to bed. Because uh, I did, and it, it wasn't even anniversary. It was the one with the uh, with the bathtub, which I uh. encourage you to buy the book to find out. But we there's a reason that one wasn't chosen because it, it would be a little <laughs> yeah. graphic. Yeah. But uh, yeah, some of the like, a lot of the stories is really well written. There's a lot of detail in them, and I, it's excited to see it get translated to the to the big screen, especially through a friend and then the new friends that we met. Yeah. Through, we're three productions and uh, the circle. Well, the circle. The, 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 the circle grows bigger. <laughs> We're all gonna take a ring to Mordor eventually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he anyway. doesn't know it yet. I really, I really like a realist horror story. She does, she does uh, like a, it was a superhero esque uh, powered, powered person story too. Mm -hmm. And Spark. Uh, what's, what's stories of Gardar. Garnar. Gardar, not Garnar. Gar we have. That's another argument we had over dinner was how to say the title of her second book. Uh, <laughs> no, that, that's the series, and yeah. then Spark is the first one. Oh, Ignition wait. is the second one. I don't know then, anything. Why am I? I up I'm so here? glad that you're moderating this panel, yeah. Mr. Know Nothing, know. friend. Get, know, get out of here. Bye. And what's uh, the third one? It was 
Combustion. 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 There we go. And then resonance is the fourth one. <gasps> so coming out. What? What happens in that one? Can you tell us? Can you give us the full description? Do what? Can you tell us everything that happens in that? Give us oh, the yeah. audio I'll book give you version. The <laughs> line. No. <laughs> uh, I really but, like Aurelius' horror writing because it's it's very like oh this is nice look at this nice thing that's happening and then it's like oh never mind this is actually terrifying <laughs> so she just she kind of wills you in and then like it's like guess what that's not what it was it's death <laughs> <laughs> but so. i think um like for me as a writer taking a big step to work with somebody else is t is terrifying because like i have you know whatever i have in my head and then finding someone else who has the same vision or can you know compile the same thought process it, you know, because you can run into 99% of the people you're going to run into don't have that. But, you know, luckily I met, you know, I know Tommy, I met Tommy, and he had, like, we both have that same link. And I can openly talk to him, you know, if, you know, hey, like, this is how, kind of like how I see it. And then he can tell me, like, if that'll work, if that won't work, you know, how we can twist it to still have the essence of it and then continue on. So that's, that's a really big step. And especially you working with somebody else, how it's like, yeah. Okay, like make sure that we we stay on the same wavelength with everything. Because yeah, I've, I mean, like I said, I've only done the you know projects that I've written, so it's I'm used to yeah. being in con complete control. Yeah. So, right, yeah. So you're gonna be like, I envisioned it this way. It's really well, I didn't. No, but no, yeah. I would never do. I'm kidding. But throw the camera down. But, we're we're but gonna no, do this way. Oh. I think it'll I, it'll be exciting for me, you know, because I get antsy if I don't have a project to work on at least you know, once every year and a half, two years, and, yeah. you know, coming off the run of Family Possessions, I was like, what am I going to do now? You know, <laughs> it's time to do another feature, but then this came along. I need yeah. it. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so, but, but, no, I think it will, I think it's going to be, it's going to come out, you know, good. I mean, I already know there's going to be some different things that's going to transition from your original story to something on the screen, you know, just because, like what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. But I think it's going to be even better, though. I think I mean, so. I, I, I trust. I, I fully well, trust you. Gonna, that's why. It's like we're talking about it right now for the first time. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I know some specifics, but I'm not going to go into it. But, but no, it's going to be good. And Jason's a great actor. I know you'll mm -hmm. feed off of him a lot because you're acting in it as well. We didn't talk yeah. about that because <laughs> she's actually playing the lead character as well. Yeah, I'll be a, at another. <laughs> wow. This is this is the Ari she show. Was like, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be playing the the wife Etna in the film, and then Jason's playing the husband Richard. Um, oh, and so the premise. Now that we're almost I'm done with the panel, no. Um, so like the premise of anniversary is this couple that they've been married for a while, and it's their anniversary, and the love between the two has kind of just gone completely flat. And uh, the the wife is trying, you know, she's trying to still do sweet things, try to get the affection from her husband. And he is constantly rejecting her, belittling her, starting arguments, picking things apart, um, you know, just being like way overly aggressive towards her to where something in the relationship has to give, you know, whichever way it wants to be. And it comes out where Etna says, you know, I want a divorce. I'm done. My hands are folded. This is it. But she also still wants to, to try, you know, to still have that like, no, like fight for me feeling from her husband that just isn't there. But, so that's just the premise, quick synopsis. <laughs> and then bad things happen. Yes, bad things, yeah. Th after the announcement or the declaration, you know, that I want a divorce, things go south very quickly, so. <laughs> she uh, turns on Beyonce and she <laughs> puts on a leotard. Alone in a box to the left. <laughs> she packs all stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> But do you guys have any questions about like what goes into to making a film? Questions for Tommy about like how you go about starting or anything? Or? You get questions for us how we hold a mic. <laughs> this microphone smells. Like Look real hard. sassy when you do it. <laughs> what was that picked up? <laughs> this guy right here in the front has a question. You, you, right here, Michael. You look like you have a Michael Tolbert. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> <laughs> You have to be SAG, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so if something has to SAG on you, like oh my gosh. skin. Uh, oh, I didn't think about that. So, so just to clear it up. <laughs> well, if, I didn't cast this movie. You need to, you know, talk to this lady over if, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, all, all the roles are filled. I'm sorry. Are you willing to make just a dollar? 
<laughs> Death, just we just have a Kickstarter where you can donate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did we mention this? Do you want to copy the movie? Uh, oh, sorry, up front. Do you have a question? Um, I actually do. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's hear it. Listening. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just natural. Like since I was a kid, um, I would sneak off. You know, back in the day, before, these people probably even know this. Um, you know, HBO would show like the same movie four times a day, and so they would show Friday the Thirteenth. You know, at twelve, at three, at five. And when I was a kid, yeah, I was like, I don't know, <laughs> nine, eight or nine, and I would just sneak in there. You know, my mom wouldn't know, and I would watch these horror movies just back to back to back, and I was obsessed. And I remember my parents taking me to see Jaws. I can remember sitting in the theater. I, I mean, I had to be three, three or four, I don't know. But it's just something that I, it cracks me up still to this day, like when people get scared and they jump. Like even out there when people are watching the trailers, if they jump, it's just something that just like gets me off. <laughs> so um, yes, it's just, and it just stuck. So any kind of story I would come up with, it was always horror or you know related. But besides that, I mean, it's a really good genre to be in, especially an independent film, because you don't need celebrities to be in your films. You know, people rent horror movies to be scared, not to see, you know, Julia Roberts or whoever. And so that's why even now, you know, the number one movies are right now are horror movies. You know, Annabelle and, you know, they have like four and five million dollar budgets and they're making three hundred million dollars. Not that the other films, you know, are bad, but it's just such a good genre to be in. And it just happens to be the one I like, so that's that's the reason I got into it. And I have a sick sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. My mother is like super religious, and <laughs> you know, when I mean, we're here in the South, you know. Oh, totally. And um, but she's I mean, she's so she supports all the stuff that I do. I mean, even you know my film Dollface, which has kind of got a lot of. Oh my God! I can't even. I don't even know if I should. There's kids in here. There's, you know, and <laughs> like I, we have mom's approval. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I'll just say it. Like in my film Dollface, there's a lot of John Waters esque humor in it, and there's a scene where these two girls are fighting, and the one girl is just so trashy. God, I can't say it uh, here. I can't say it. She. Uh, yeah, because I just saw another kid. Is this come the in. Bam 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 scene? No, it's even before that. Uh, yes, yeah, black. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Besides what it is, it's just really bad. But I took my mom to see it, you know, in the big, big premiere we had when I was in Augusta, and I was just like, "Mom, oh, no. <laughs> just just watch the movie, you know, and just don't say anything." Because there's actually a scene where one of the characters, you know, the people that have those those Bibles that are like metal. I'm not no a wooden box. It looks like a Bible, and you open it up. Mm-hmm. Well, one of the characters kept their drugs in it, you know, <laughs> and it, you know, it it was. Yeah, and so she she watched it, and she's just sitting there watching the whole thing, and I was just going, oh, my God, you know. And then once the movie was over, she was just like, she goes, you know, that that looked like a real movie. <laughs> and I was like, well, well, thanks. Yeah, thanks. It was, but thank you. And so, I mean, even though, you know, she's super religious and everything, and, you know, she loves, she, she supports anything that I do. You know, she knows I'm a nice guy, and she just kind of wonders sometimes the stuff that I write. I can remember being a kid, and... I would write some of these stories, and sometimes my sister would have Barbies, and I would like create these crash scenes with <laughs> doll parts. And she would ask my aunt, "Or do you think he's pretending like that's me?" Oh. You know, and stuff like that. But I, you know, now that I'm older and she knows I still do this for a living, she knows I'm not trying to kill her. So yeah, well, that's good. So she's got that going for her, which so is she's nice. She's like, you know, come to church on Sunday, but you know, I understand you do horror movies. If you could take, well, and I think that's a pretty big misconception. Like when you're in the horror field, that like there's something wrong with you, or like you're not really this nice person. And it's like one of the, the um, like Rob Zombie. Everybody knows Rob Zombie. He's a genuinely nice guy. You know, he does these messed horror up, movies, yeah, like these like messed up horror movies. But he's a genuinely nice guy. And, like same with Tommy. Like the ideas are there, but that doesn't mean that like. Like you're a darker person. Like you're, you know what I mean. Like you're a really nice guy. You're an awesome guy. You're very caring, and you just I'm you you know how sweet. to do horror. That's yeah. Michael. <laughs> yeah, I just like to come yeah. up with really creative ways of killing people for, <laughs> for movies, but that, you know, yeah, yeah. Lot, just for movies. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of fun <laughs> stuff in, in uh, Generation X. There's one thing that involved the popcorn maker, so that was yeah, that was uh, fun. That, that was a that was a lot of fun. Um, so if you could take any horror genre, like any 
like mainstream horror uh -huh. movies and like remake and make it your own which one would you do and why uh I don't know. Um, I would like to remake Serial Mom. I love that movie, the John Waters oh, Serial yeah. Mom. I mean, I love all his movies. I think that would be because it could have been a little more horror in that. I think Serial Mom would be good. Yeah. Um, Is that about the a first mom? Annabelle dude? movie, maybe. I, I'm not familiar. Does, does she like overly feed her child Fruit Loops? <laughs> no. she, uh, for, you haven't seen it before. No. No, she's what? just like this really super nice psycho like 50s mom. But if anybody crosses her, like, you know, messes with her kids or her garden or her recycling, she just kills them. It's just like, oh. dead. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's it an is. amazing movie. You put that Snapple bottle yeah. in the trash, it goes in the recycling bin. Yeah, like, she does it, like one of her neighbors, she just, she doesn't recycle and she just hates her for it. And so she <laughs> kills her, you yeah. know? I mean, like, puts her in the rec recycling bin. Or like, bin if to someone go out, wears like... white after Labor Day, she's just like, you don't do that. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen Serial Mom, you should all watch it. I love John, I love John Waters. <laughs> you know, that's, I say my mix of style is like John Waters meets John Carpenter, and that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> so, Any, oh, I think she has, she has a has question. A question. Yeah. Hey, no, I apologize. One of the most important things to have. To include in, in your, Oh, to in include writing. in writing. Honestly, one of the most important things to be able to do is to have the story flow and have like a connection with the characters. You have to build up the characters enough that you you want to connect with them and you want to be interested in them. So like character development, but then also you have to have like that flow of getting to know the character and action or you know like suspense moments where things are happening to continue the storyline because if you just have a flat story where it's like you know this is who this person is this is this person is da, 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 da. and then all of a sudden everybody's dead like it doesn't make sense and you're just kind of like oh okay so mm -hmm. you had to have like that flow and that pacing of it with the character but I, I really feel like characters if there's no character connection, you're not going to be interested in the story. And same with like with film, you know, if you if there's a flat character on screen, you really you just genuinely don't care about them. So I feel like that's those two are the most important things to include. And that's that's kind of harder to do with a short film as well, because you want to build yeah. have character development, but you have you know a five or ten minute film, you don't have a lot of time yeah. to do that. So that's why it's really important that your characters are really well defined and your, your story, you know, hits from the beginning. And that's why I don't yeah. even, you know, it's hard to do shorter films. I think they're harder than features. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. No, because you, yeah. you had to compact everything and get everybody's mm -hmm. attention in, in like a short this amount of time, of time yeah. versus developing it over like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, it's because she's just um, straight crazy. <laughs> no, I'm <just> kidding. <laughs> well, no I, I feel like just... Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> right, I think just Etna's emotional side is kind of, you know, what she's going through and that, like, the heartbreakingness of her trying and everything is really kind of like what starts, starts the ripple effect of the entire story. Because you 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 were witnessing her struggling to do something, and you start to connect with her because you start to get an emotional tie to it. So I would probably mm -hmm. does that answer the question, or not really? Or okay. Yeah. <laughs> what I got out was it was a, it was a woman struggling to save her marriage, and like she was trying to do everything she possibly could, and like you instantly attach to her if, if you've been in a relationship at all, you instantly like, yeah, you know, you you can relate if you've been in like a. So with somebody where you want it to work and she desperately wants it to work and so you kind of get attached to her that way yeah yeah does anybody else have any questions or comments or <laughs> concerns <laughs> yeah. uh, also back to the previous question i think that when you're writing the script version it's good to write dialogue for your extras so they can be included <laughs> in this <laughs> screen actor skill 
So <laughs> when you guys watch the film, Stevie V is just going to be it's, constantly in the background, just like, standing there, like they talked about the film. The they'll talk yeah. about filming at the market, and like there'll be people talking, and you just hear in the background, "How much is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this here, <laughs> this item? Can I buy it?" Then, talking over the other two yeah. actresses, like, like just ad lib. It's like. <laughs> 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 Just don't make noise. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of footage cut out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I it's, feel it's that. I feel that. If happens. anything, the DVD is gonna have an amazing behind the scenes section because <laughs> yeah. it'll be the first time we've done anything. So it's gonna be a lot of Tommy yelling at us because we did stuff wrong. Like the behind the scenes will be like two hours long for a <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're we're. I, I'm excited and nervous to do it. To be like, uh, I have the bases down. I'm just going to show up and do what I'm told. Essentially, that that that's yes. my plan going right. through. It. That's what I'm going to do. That, that's a good goal to have. Yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect. And I, I know I know the very like I said we know the very minimal basics because we hold boom mics and uh, we interview people um, and we do skits sometimes. So that's about as far as it goes for us so far. So <laughs> we can say words good for most of the time. Yes. We speak in stuff. <laughs> Into mics. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? No? Um. So, yeah, stop by my booth. Yeah. We got movies. <laughs> uh, stop by hers, too. She's <laughs> by her books. Uh, our table's right there. We, we, we have cards you can pick up, and we have, we have a lot of YouTube videos. We, we have an interview we, we did with Aurelis uh, where we talked about everything that we're doing, and it, that was a lot of fun. She was on Skype, so we had, we had a lot of fun with that. She lives in Charleston, we live here, so. Um, the, Aurelis, your, can we talk about your other stuff? Um, do we have time for that? How much time we got left, Mike? Ten minutes. minutes? Yeah, we're right. doing good. Yeah. How much of a struggle it was? was? Fill me in on that. Kickstarters, oh. people, like, so if you, you have an end date for your Kickstarter, Everyone will wait until like the day or two before the end of the will. Kickstarter to Me yeah too. <laughs> before they do that. So like the you know, it went on for forty five days. So we're sitting there and like, you know, we're getting like trickles and stuff like that and here and there and uh we had a big hit the day of the Kickstarter and that was a th a third of <laughs> Aurelis's <thing>. mom. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh because well, isn't it if you didn't reach your goal, you don't. Did you do? Yeah. You don't get anything. So yeah. You can raise three thousand dollars, and your goal is four. Mm -hmm. You get three thousand nine hundred ninety dollars, and it ends. You don't get any of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so just that's gone. That's so nerve-wracking. Right at the end, you're sitting there watching and watching to make sure you get your goal. Yes, and it was just. I mean, that's what you know, because we're getting down to. I think it was like the last week, and Jason and I were like, <laughs> uh, like we're close, but we're not there and then you know then it started to hit and then like the last two days was where it was like we met our goal then we surpassed our goal and it, was it, like, it shot oh up my like gosh. crazy the last yeah. couple of days yeah it yeah was, it went way over has anyone ever tried to do kickstarter before or put into a kickstarter before no uh it's it, it's it, the one of the hardest things to do is is to create your tier levels because you like you put this much amount of money and it's it's easy to do yeah. the bottom ones when you're doing like a movie like this because it's like 20 bucks you get a copy of the movie that, that's mm -hmm. what most people do right mm -hmm. like and so because most people don't feel bad like well i'm just like buying the movie so if it gets made it's good we, so. we that's what one, i did yeah even though i could probably got the movie for free because you know i'm going to be doing stuff in it and i might <laughs> say something to be in the street actor field yeah. <laughs> on the payroll uh, <laughs> uh we had one tier that I thought was really, really cool. And my editor, Rob, came up with the idea, which is why I love Rob. <laughs> he uh, suggested, since the story is about a couple, that for one of the tiers is to have a wedding ring, just like a stainless steel wedding ring as as part of the gift, but then we would have the, the title of the film and the release date engraved in it, so it would be like the anniversary of anniversary. And that was one of like our um, exclusives to, to have out there and I was like that's a really good idea that like I don't know why I didn't why I didn't think of that like, <laughs> yeah it was really cool um yeah like the different tiers you know, like a t-shirt a poster um I remember we, when I was reading the tiers one of them was like a th uh we'll record a personal thank you from the cast and crew and I was like that's nice I was like wait a minute 
I'm going to be part of that. Thank you. We're going to be recording. Thank you all the time. So uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, that, that's where we'll shine at. If, if anything, we'll do really good thank you videos, Tommy. Okay. Yeah. So. yeah. That's right. Well, that's why, right. because, you know, without, <laughs> without like, crews and be people there to help you, it's a huge strain. I and mean, you know, like, because he, he's done a one man production before mm -hmm. where it's, it's just you and you're trying to do everything and get the lighting and get the sound and, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. So that's why, you know, having an extra pair of hands there, you know, I'm very appreciative and I always try to include people in on, you know, if you're helping me with a project, yeah, I'm going to try and, and get you out there and, and, you know, you deserve just as much rec recognition because if I don't have you, I don't, you know, just like with Tommy, if I don't have Tommy, I don't have a film. I still have a piece of paper with words on it. So, yeah, and without the, the crew to be there to help. We won't have there's, pizza. Yeah, there, so. we, will, we will be coffee. Yeah, there will be coffee or food. <laughs> <laughs> there will be donuts. And uh, without the inspiration <gasps> for this story. Okay, calm down. Now, now, now Showtime is totally our lead actor. There might be donuts. Yeah. You'll be the one going to get them. Though, you so you can so. pay me in food. That's how I. <laughs> I'm fine with that. But yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very exciting. The, the biggest thing you get out of this is once the movie's made and we're showing it to people, we can go back to our house and we can play Started from the Bomb, Now We're Here, because we got together. <laughs> you can play what? Start, you know, Started from the Bomb, Now We're Here. You know that song? What? Oh, my God. You just ruined everything. <laughs> it's okay. Be funnier. <laughs> oh, Dundee is done. Snap. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, <laughs> But maybe we can show it here next year. Oh, oh, be, oh yeah. man, it'd be so yeah. awesome. So you guys should come back yeah, so next year. so come back year, next year. And we'll be so, filming it. And, and every <laughs> time you see a boom mic come into the shot, just remember, that was me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His arms get tired. Real professionals <laughs> we got there. That'll be... Yeah. I'm just kidding, Tommy. <laughs> and that'll be like me screaming. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a little counter at the bottom every time that he does it. <laughs> Shane will be there to record you every time you scream at them. <laughs> Steven! 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 Because we're both Steven, yeah. so it'll, he'll just yell it a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll be fun. <laughs> Actually, it'll be funny to film the confusion about which one he's yelling yeah. at. <laughs> so. right. yeah. Any more questions? What, uh, there in the, the back? In the back, Beth. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I happen to know your name, Beth Randall, or Danny, that we're, that we're she, meeting for the first time. Will, yeah, she will also be joining us. She's also a part of our crew back there. Say hey, Beth. I'm calling you out. Yes, she'll she'll hopefully be joining us too. So, um, Bennett, do you have a question? Do you have a question? Bennett? I just saw you texting. I didn't know if you were. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, you man, you're not up here. There was literally a fourth chair that anybody's butt could have filled. Yeah, and mine just found it first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we'll talk later. <laughs> well, that's why Tommy's making movies and you're not. So, uh, <laughs> okay. we fight now after the panel. <laughs> don't don't admit. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everyone come by. Tommy, do not admit. We got DVD. <laughs> he works with us, and we don't tell anybody about it. So, I'll show you easy ways to do it. All right, so we got about what five minutes left? Clear one thirty. Next panel. Okay, so yeah, we appreciate everybody coming. We'll clear out for the next panel. We let, please come back. Hopefully, we'll show it next year. If Thank not, you for sitting through this because you know this was so rehearsed. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you tell? <laughs> yeah. um, if 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 it's not here, uh, where 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 can they find information on it? It's like pro progression information on social media. Oh, anniversary uh, Facebook page. Yes, yes. Oh, so th there's a there's a, a full anniversary Facebook page, and you can you'll find us all our stuff there. Oh, and uh, our special effects artist Sean, he'll mm -hmm. actually be here today. later today. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, he's also from Charleston. He is. If you guys haven't checked out his work, Tommy actually recommended him. Yeah, he's and, uh, wicked good. It's phenomenal. He uh, he's very talented. So he'll be here later on today, to uh, just kind of wandering around the con, but. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and you're dismissed. Okay, yeah. bye. <laughs> it's awkward that you're all still bye. sitting here. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> bye. What's the next panel? What's the next panel, Mike? <laughs> <laughs>